Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Miss Faye and this is my world. Today's topic is know when it's time to go. Know when to leave a relationship. Before we get started, I want to say welcome. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to all the new viewers, the new subscribers, and welcome to you who have been with me from the beginning. I really appreciate you. Now let's dive into this topic. Knowing when it's time to, to leave. You know, I get letters from ladies who are in horrible relationships but they want to know how to stay, how how to how to deal with it. They you know not they're not ready to just leave the relationship, which I advise them to. But maybe they're not in the position to leave. All right, let's look at that. I always encourage women, no matter where you are in your life, work on having a strong financial foundation of your own. Meaning that if it comes down to just you, you can always support yourself. And if you have children, then you can always support yourself and your children without depending on a man to do it. Now, if you have a man that does it, that's fantastic. But it's too many women that find themselves in a position where the man up and leaves and now they have that responsibility and they haven't prepared for it. And uh, that's why I encourage women to prepare for that first in life before you prepare for anything else. And, and don't allow a man to come in and to deter you from from that goal of having your own. Because I'm telling you, it's freeing to have your own. It really is. When you are indebted to other people, then they always have something to say about what you can't do. And many times, uh, women who are with a mate, and you both work, you, you're both making money. You see, everything is cool. But somehow, somehow in that relationship, the man always has more power. How, 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 why does that happen? Is that because we have the mindset that the man is supposed to be the leader and it doesn't matter whether he makes more money or not? We were brought up with the mindset that the husband is the master of the family, of the household. You know, there was a time that, that there was a time when that worked. But in today's society, it doesn't. It, it doesn't work because men have changed. And because men have changed, women have changed. But women need to guard themselves with all of these changes that men are going through. So you are not destroyed in the process. That's the whole thing. Because see, men, at this point, men don't really know who they want to be. They, you know, half of them believe they want to be masculine, alpha men. They don't even know what that means. Then they want to be these high-value tech men, whatever. But what about the, uh, the standard man who is the protector, who is the provider? Well, what about that man? Somehow, it's not fitting into the pattern of the modern man to be a provider 
or a protector for his family. Therefore, women are forced to change the way that we are because we're not just going to submit to that. If he, you know, if he's just looking for somebody to come to help him to carry the load of life, why should that be us, ladies? That's the thing. Why should that be us? What? Because we are known to be the weaker sex? That may be true. But we're not the dumber sex. <laughs> we're the more intelligent. Ladies, use your gifts. Okay? And I mean your, your mental gifts. I'm not talking about your physical gifts. I'm talking about your mental gifts when it comes to this. Know your value. And see, when you know your value, you know when to leave and you don't have a problem with it. When you know your value, you have your financial foundation set. So, you know, if he acts up and does not meet your needs or desires, you can leave without hesitation. Okay? Because when it boils down to it, to it you don't want to be in position to where this man is your lifeline. And I mean that that happens on all levels. On all levels. It's not just the ones, you know, at the the very poor couples to the to the mid-range income couples to the wealth couples. No. It happens all ranges. Where women would subject themselves in a relationship where the man has more power over them. Ladies, don't do it anymore because we cannot rely on men the way it was in the old days. You know, if a woman was out anywhere, you know, my grandmother used to tell me if a woman was in distress, men would come and help you. And they would come and help without looking for a transaction. Men today, if they help you do anything, they're looking to get your phone number. <laughs> See? No. Men have a different attitude today. And really, you know, that happens because of, uh, you know, magazines, TV, movies, all of that. It uh, changes your perspective about life, you know, and if you watch uh, a lot of the news, it can really keep you in a low vibration, and it, it also reprograms you about situations. I stayed in relationships way too long, and uh, the reason, it, a couple of reasons, number one, I'm an empath. And empaths stay too long. They, <laughs> they hate to disappoint people. You know, they hate to say no. You know, they tolerate way too much. And many times, uh, it'll be the other partner that breaks it off from the empath and leaves the empath devastated. Because the empath has a hard time ending a relationship, even if it's a horrible relationship. Oh, when I was with the, the narcissist, which had gotten pretty awful. And many times, I mean, the first time it got awful, I should have walked away and left. And it wasn't a financial thing because I had more assets than he did. It wasn't that. But I believe I was really determined to make this relationship work. 
And that's what held me holding on so tight to it. I just didn't want to feel like I had failed again. Now, I know maybe some of you find yourselves uh, in a situation like that, that you'll take a lot of abuse because you don't want to be seen as that person who can't hold on to a relationship. But what I want to tell you is that what, the, what I've learned in hindsight, don't do it. If it is bad, leave it alone. Get out and don't look back. Because the longer that you hold on to it, the more of it you're going to get. That, 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 that feeling, that terrible feeling that it gives you, it will never stop. It would just get worse and worse and worse. It's a low vibrational energy. You don't want it. That's why when it appears in your relationship, then you, then you should know it's time to leave. You know in your gut when it's time to leave. That first time that he hurts you, and is way down in your gut feeling, your intuition is saying, leave. But your fear, your fear of being alone, your ego will say, no, you can work it out. Stay, don't, don't go anywhere. Stay, you know, he's just having a bad day. That's your ego. When your intuition is saying, leave. But it's, it's a quiet voice, see. And you you hear it. Sometimes you you hear it when you're uh, laying in bed at night. And everything is quiet. And all of a sudden you hear that little voice. You see? But when your ego is awake, it can talk you out of it. When you know in your heart and soul that it's best for you to leave it. Ladies... Men don't change. And uh, I stayed in relationships believing that in time my goodness would rub off on them. They don't change. And another thing, ladies, as long as you are accepting horrible treatment, there's no reason for them to change. There's no reason. Because for men, these type of men who inflict pain on women, for them, it's a power play. So they're not about to give up that power that they have over you if you are tolerating it. You see? Don't tolerate it. When you see it, when you see it prop up, let it go. And we know when we talk about the red flags, this, this is what we're talking about. When he does something or says something that makes you feel bad, that's a red flag. That's your intuition that you know is a red flag. You won't have to guess about it or talk about it or think about it. It's a red flag. It's warning you. It, it, it's warning you, you know, go slow. Go slow. And, uh, you know, some people, they'll go on with a few red flags. You know, they say that three strikes are out. Some people give you three strikes. But nevertheless, here's the thing. When you end a relationship, realize that you're going to feel that disconnect. And you're going to be thinking about them. And your ego is starting to talk to you and saying, did you make the right decision? Maybe you should have given him a second chance. Maybe it wasn't that. That's your ego. Don't listen to it. Don't listen to your ego and go back. No, nothing has changed, people. Nothing. Let a bad situation Go and know when to leave. Don't wait for a person 
to hurt you over and over and over again. And that's what happens. You know, I got a letter from a young lady where the man has already started putting hands on her. And she wants to know what to do. Leave. <laughs> Leave. I know it takes strength to leave a relationship. And again, this is why I tell you, always have your own finances in place for you. So you can leave. All right? Because, see, that can be a drawback when you don't have that in place. And don't depend on other people to help you if you want to leave. You know, you need to have that set up for yourself. And don't tell anybody about it. Don't tell anybody about it. It's just your way out if you need to get out. And see, I don't care how long you've been married. How long you've been married. You may have been tolerating a marriage for many, many years. You see? And now here you are tired of it. Or now your husband is tired of it. And he decides he doesn't want to be married anymore. But you depended on him the whole time. It can be a messy situation. Ladies, the main thing is for you to guard yourself. You know, men have changed from who they were in the olden days. They have a whole different mindset now. They're not looking for wives to care for. They're looking for wives to care for them. So that I hope that you understand the message today. Know when to leave a relationship. No. When it makes you sad, it's time to leave. When your intuition, deep down in your soul, says leave, it's truly time to leave. Don't second guess it. That's when it's time for you to go. I hope that uh, the message today helps someone. Now, those of you who have questions that you would like for me to answer, my email address is in the description. And also, uh, the affirmation for today, the link is also there. And if any of you are interested in these caps, they are available in my online store. And there's also a link in the description. I want to thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for your... I want to thank you for your comments, your letters, and a special thank you for those that leave a donation. I really appreciate all of you. I wish you all the very best. And I really hope to see you next time.